If you are looking for something to get you in the spooky spirit this weekend, the Hartford Ancient Burying Ground Association is hosting guided tours about the witchcraft panic in Colonial, Connecticut. So joining us to talk details is coordinator Christine Jewell. Christine, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank really you appreciate for having your time. Me. People don't realize this, but about 45 years before stuff happened in Salem, yes, that is witch correct. trials right here in Connecticut. I know. And the first person hanged for witchcraft right here in Connecticut as well. Correct. Walk us through the history. Well, it's pretty complicated because um, there was a lot to do with uh, the Puritan society. So in 1647, we know that the first witch was hanged, Alice Young. And then in the 1660s, in particular, there was a witchcraft panic in Hartford. So between 1661 and 63, there were eight trials in eight months. And a lot of people were accusing each other. And there's a lot of background information that we're going to talk about at the guided tours. And we get peaks of this history as you walk around Hartford. You know, spot it or you'll miss it, basically. Correct. And that's where the burying ground comes in. I live in downtown Hartford. Haven't really noticed this thing, but there's a lot of history there. Tell us about that piece of the puzzle. Well, in 1636, Thomas Hooker came down with Reverend Stone, and basically it was a wilderness here. Can you imagine coming to Hartford and there's nothing? And there was a lot of fear. There was a lot of panic. There was an influenza outbreak, and Puritan society was very strict. There wasn't a lot to do. And unfortunately, a lot of people liked to uh, slander each other. And for example, if your beard didn't um, come out or if an animal died, they were superstitious. They really did believe in witches. And so all of a sudden, uh, all these accusations spring up. And it was a little political. It was jealousy. Um, sometimes people think it was people going after land, because land was very important back then but it was a very very interesting time and I'm really fascinated by the history so these tours we have two of them being offered this weekend and next weekend walk us through the different things that people can expect on those tours right so on Saturdays today for example um, we are having tours it's going to be inside Center Church which is at the corner of Golden Main Streets in Hartford and Richard Ross the third he's the author of a book called before Salem and so this is about the witchcraft panic in Hartford in the 1660s and he goes back into the history um, where the English colonists were from um, a lot of really intriguing facts that he delves into. And then the other tour, I'm doing those on Sundays between, uh, there's one at 11 and there's one at 2 p.m. And I like to draw from medieval history. I mean, Elizabeth I died in 1603 and she created uh, the company, East India Company in 1599. So although the Puritans came here for religious freedom, there was also um, a lot of pressure to have of farms and agriculture and basically to um, create these resources for England. And rain or shine, these tours are happening today. Correct. Yes, yes. The rain only adding to the spooky atmosphere <laughs> right, exactly, out there. Exactly. Where can people go for more information to sign up? Ancientburyingground.org, theancientburyingground.org. And we're going to be there today. I'll be there today. So I hope to see more people. Awesome. Yeah. Christine, thank you thank so much. You so really much. appreciate your time. Thank, thank you so you. much for thank being you. here.